All right, fellow racers, it's your boy Vexed again. Welcome back to the Ultimate Racing League Alfa Romeo 155 One Meet Championship. This is race two of round two at Nürburgring. So after a moist first race, Toto managing to take the win, we've, uh, we're going to have a quick look at the grid. We've got Toten. Toten is on pole. Wayne G is in second place. Brian Moncarni is in third. Vexed is fourth. Tony is fifth. Flash is in sixth. Molson is seventh. Dan Bailey is eighth. Boy Boosted ninth. Palmer tenth. And Hodgie is in eleventh. So I believe, I think we had 12 races in the first race and we've only got 11 here. But I might be wrong. But without further ado, let's get into it. And the klaxons off and they're off. Toten getting a really good start there. He's pulled away from the rest of the pack. Uh, Wayne G's behind him in second. Looks like Brian Moncarni. Looks like Vex going down the inside of Brian Moncarni there. Brian Moncarni taking a little bit of a punt to the back. So did Vex. Not really affecting him though. So Brian Moncarni has managed to take up that third position. So Toten and Wayne G making a clean getaway. Brian Moncarni following him in third. We've got Vex in fourth. Dan Bailey sat there in fifth. Nearly a bit of contact there between him and... Uh, and then Vex, he did well there to get on the brakes and not go into the back of Vex. That's good driving there from Dan Bailey. Tony, Tony looking like he's uh, looking a bit stronger in this round, this race than he did in the first race. Didn't look very comfortable in the wet, did he, Tony? But he looks a lot, a lot more confident on, on the softs in the dry. So I think we see better things from him round here. Oh, big moment there in the background from Boy Booster, I think that was. So Flash Mexi is seventh. Molson is eighth, and that was that was boy boosted with a massive lock up. He's dropped down to ninth. Oh, and he's come, he's come across, he's hit the grass. Oh, and he's taken it. Looked like he took Flash Mexi right off the track, though. He's gonna have to stop and regain that, re give that position. Looks like they're both struggling to get going. That may be a safety car. And I think it is, yeah. Totem starting to slow. Is he? Yeah, yeah, the hazards are on. It is safety car condition, so everyone's going to be forming into a train. They'll be following this formation for the rest of the lap. Oh, a little bit of contact there between Wayne G and Brian McCartney. Might have been a bit of lag in the lobby. We know that Brian McCartney has suffered with that in the past, so... And, uh, yeah, Wayne G retaking second place because Brian managed to take that after the safety car was called. So rightly giving him that position back. So we've got Toten followed by Wayne G, followed by Brian Moncarni. Vex has managed to make it up to fourth place. I know he was there anyway, so Vex is still in fourth place. We've got Dan Bailey as fifth. Tony is in sixth still. Morton is seventh. Palmer is eighth. Hodgy is ninth. Flash is tenth. And Boy Boosted is eleventh. So we've got on board with a race leader. They are about to start racing again. Waiting for the green flag. And there it is, they're off again. So a good restart. I think Vex was caught slipping. I'm not sure if he was aware that it had restarted. It looks like he's lost a couple of places there. We'll quickly go on board. Yes, Dad Bailey's managed to take up that fourth position. Vex losing out on a few positions there. Molson and Palmer have both gone through past him. So Vex dropping down to seventh place. Palmer moving up to fifth. Molson behind him is sixth. Vex in seventh. Flash and uh, Tony there behind him, looking a little bit out of shape. So there's a bit of a heated battle forming there between these three. Tony just losing out on that eighth position there to, uh, and well, ninth as well. It's a flash and boy boosted. Looking like he's a little bit on the back foot again. Perhaps he's just not finding his feet with this car at the moment. As I say, some of the lads as well, they've noticed a bit of an issue with uh, sometimes when you get into the lobby, the car will be at least three seconds slower than the rest of the pack. It, it, I think we think it's a glitch with the game at the moment. I'm not really sure what's causing it. I know Wayne G, he suffered with it. Boy boosted, looking really slow there. I'm not sure. I don't think that was where he served that penalty. Tony getting a lovely move done, though. I think he's gone past him, and he has. Boy boosted, picking up a penalty there as well. So, yeah, Tony's moved up a place. He's moved up to ninth place. Boy boosted has dropped down to 10th. Hodges there in 11th. He's gone board with a race leader. Toten still in first place. 
nice bit of a gap now to Wayne G behind him. He's not having to worry about defending just yet. Just try and take that optimum line and try and create a bit more of a gap. All about that breathing space. So it looks like it's starting to get a bit dingy out there. I don't think we had race in the second... I don't think we had rain... We definitely had a race in the second race, but I don't think we had rain in the second race. I'm sure this race was dry throughout. I believe the first and the third race had a fair bit of moisture. Brian McCartney starting to close that gap now, isn't he, on uh, Wayne G. Bit of a different line through that last section. Perhaps that's where he's keeping that momentum. Oh, as he glances off the back of Wayne's bumper there, but he goes a bit deep for his trouble and he's lost some momentum on that gravel. He was lucky not to spin it, to be fair. It was a nice, well kept. So Brian McCartney still currently in third. Vext is in fourth. He's a little way off the back of them, but I think he's got some pace in that car still. He's going to be trying to catch up to him, I'm sure. Looked like he actually put in a fastest sector there as well, so... There's Mawson. Mawson's going to catch, start catching up to Vex though, because Vex has just had a 0.5 second penalty to serve. But like, Mawson actually put in a fastest sector there as well. And he is, he's actually starting to gain on Vex now. You've got Tony and Palmer behind him as well. So maybe Tony has found his feet. He's uh, starting to challenge Palmer. Palmer has got a, a full second's worth of penalties, so... All Tony really has to do is stay with him, stay in that slipstream, and he's going to get past him anyway. As we pass the start finish line for the fourth time. Mawson's still trying to chase Vex down. He's still, uh, still having a look in his mirrors, though. I'm sure uh, Palmer's going to be making him sweat a bit. So he's in a bit of a two-way battle here at the moment, is Mawson. Vex has got a little bit to do to catch up with Brian Moncarni, but still early stages. Oh, that was, that was really wide line there for Vex. I'll be surprised if he doesn't pick up a penalty. Looking like he's actually got away with it, so... Oh, it's Mawson. Mawson goes deep. He goes onto the gravel. He's going to lose them places. Palmer now moving up to fifth place. He's got that penalty to serve, though. Tony's all over the back of him, so he's going to lose that place to Tony, surely, when he serves that penalty, if Tony doesn't get past sooner. He may, he's looking for that move, though. He's trying to set it up as Tony. We'll go on board with Tony, actually. We want to see this happen. So Tony, after a bit of a shocker in the first one, he's looking very strong here in the second one. He's definitely preferring these conditions. You can see the bar filling up there as uh, we're approaching the penalty line where Palmer will have to serve that second's worth of penalty. Tony is going to get through. How far ahead of uh, Palmer is he going to get though as he moves over there because he knows a part. Yeah, there we go. He's passed him. And as we look back, we can't see Palmer anywhere to be. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so he's dropped quite a way off the back of uh, Tony now. So Tony just needs to keep it. Cons oh. As I say that, he nearly has a bit of a moment, looking a bit squirrely through the uh, final chicane. Coming around the final turn. He's lost a bit of momentum, but he's still not under pressure from Palmer just yet. Palmer is starting to close that gap, though. It's 
No, nobody actually having to run the mediums in this set of free races as we've obviously got the wet conditions so the guys having to run either wets or intermediates when the rain comes because it, it as you've seen it is torrential slowly approaching the halfway mark of this race Molson, Molson's in seventh so maybe that is Molson's livery perhaps he's gone for the uh, for the Alfa Romeo livery he's put his name and his number obviously on the car but maybe that is essentially Molson's livery just the red Alfa Romeo livery oh, so it looks like uh, Palmer starting to challenge Tony now Palmer managing to go around the outside that was a good move there from Palmer come on Tony stay with him lad Oh, as Tony tries to get the switch back done, he's tried to go through on this turn. He's got the inside. I think Palmer's gone wide. Palmer's got the inside for this one. Tony holding it around the outside. That was great driving there from them two guys. Molson trying to make his way through as well. Molson's got a slip of Tony. I think to I think Molson might be able to follow Tony through. Almost free wide into this turn. Oh, it is. Oh, I nearly ended in tears there, Tony. He managed to get through nicely, though. He's managed to take... Re He's managed to keep that fifth position. Molson managing to get past Palmer. Palmer's going to get past him on this final turn. Molson holding it around the outside, though. Meanwhile, Boy Boosted starting to creep up behind him as well. This battle for fifth place is really starting to heat up now. We saw another car in the background there. I think that was Dan Bailey as well, so he's not too far. Oh, Tony! No! That's unlucky, Tony. So Tony having a massive moment. Coming off at turn one. That's managed to let Molson, Boy Boosted, and Palmer free. So Boy Boosted's actually gone past Palmer as well, so... Palmer and Molson were having a bit of a battle. I think... Par par uh, I think Boy Boost has managed to get past Palmer in the heat of the moment and Palmer now looking like he's on the back foot. Dan Bailey's all over the back of him as well, so... Still anyone's race at the moment. Well, I think we know who the uh, who the winner's going to be, but... For the rest of the position, still anybody's race. Tony, Tony's still struggling to get the car going. Oh, Tony... That's unlucky, man. It's Tony dropping all the way down the rest of the pack. We've actually lost the racer as well. I'm not sure who've lost there. Wenji's starting to catch up to... Oh, Vex has taken Brian McCarney. So Brian, uh, Vex managing to get past Brian. He's taken up that third position. He's been looking quite strong all races, Vex. We'll see if he manages to keep it. We'll stay on board with these two for just a second. Great battle there for the... Uh, for the midfield. Oh, Brian McCartney forcing his way through there on the final turn. Bakes probably should have been a bit more assertive and covered off that inside line, but... I'm sure he's going to try and stay with Brian now, try and get back past him again. Looking like he's trying to get the switch back. He's trying to set it up. Not quite having the momentum, though. I think Brian's going to stay ahead for just a second. I'll have a look at the front, too. So, Wayne, looking like he was starting to pressure Toten, but he's actually picked up a second's worth of penalty, so he's going to have to be serving that, and he's going to lose a bit of that momentum against Toten unless he gets past him anytime soon, which doesn't look, look like he's close enough to do so. He is going to drop off the back of him, so I think this is currently one of the closest battles on trails. I did see a couple of names switch in the background. We'll come back to these two in just a second. So, Toten followed by Wayne G, followed by Brian McCartney, Vexed, Molson fifth. So, Boy Boosting and Palmer, Boy Boosting and Palmer now having a bit of a battle. Dan Bailey's in there as well, so these three having a bit of a battle for sixth place. Three way battle. Dan Bailey all over the back of Palmer, Palmer all over the back of Boosted. Palmer looking for that move, he's not close enough to go for it though, or is he? 
It looked like Boosted was a little bit unsettled through that last turn. Tiny bit of contact there, not really anything they could do about it. Palmer slotted back in behind. He's got Dan Bailey all over his bumper though, look at that. Go on, Dan Bailey. Go on, Palmer, you need to defend this man. You're not even... Didn't even look like he was looking to defend. He's still just concentrating firmly on Boy Boosted, I think. Trying not to let Dan phase him too much. Oh, has he got the run here? I think he might have the momentum to get past Boosted. Boosted's got the inside for the, hit, for the uh, final chicane, though, so... He's holding it there. He's going to be braver on the brakes. And Boosted has won the corner. So it's like Dan Bailey. Dan Bailey might get past him as well. Oh, shh. So Brian McCartney finishing third. Vex is fourth. Molson is fifth. Boy Boosted. He's managed to get past him. He's taken sixth. And that Palmer and Dan Bailey, that was so close. Palmer's come seventh, Dan Bailey is eighth. Hodgie ninth. We had two DNFs. And here is your race leader. This is Toten. He's going to make it two out of two. Two out of three. Obviously the third race, third and final race, coming next. So Toten again, masterclass from start to finish. It's not really been phased by anything this evening. Wayne G is still there, but... A little bit off the back of Toten now, unless Toten makes a massive error, Wayne G's not going to be able to challenge for that first place. So I think this is going to be how it finishes. Boy, Marcani managing to take that last slot on the podium. Great racing from Wayne G as well. After that shocker of a first race, managing to bring home a second, so he'd be happy with that. Victory lap for these two lads. There you go, Toten making it two out of three. He's your race winner for race two, and he was race winner in race one. Wayne G bringing it home in second place. And then we had obviously Brian McCartney was third, Vex was fourth, Molson was fifth, Boy Boosted sixth, Palmer seventh, Dan Bailey eighth, and Hodgie was ninth. So that was race two, guys. I will see you for the next one. I've been your boy Vex. Good night.